Today we have Amy Teitelbaum with us. She is not only one of our very successful agents, but a manager in our Manhattan Beach office. Welcome, Amy. Hi, Diane. Thank you for having me. This yeah. is lovely. So um, tell us a little bit about how you got into real estate and a little bit about your business. Oh, I got into real estate a long time ago. I was still in college and um, just loved it, loved working with people, loved looking at houses. And uh, when I moved to California, the first thing I did was I got my California real estate license and started working here. And it's been great ever since. So um, it, I know you live and work in the beach cities. Mm -hmm. Who are your clients and how do you get new clients or how do you how do you get your clients? Well, I've been doing this a long time. So right now, a lot of my clients, my current clients, are referrals from years back. But um, I do uh, uh, networking. I work my sphere of influence quite a bit. I get a lot of referrals from them. Um, when my kids were younger and in school, I worked. The, did a lot of work for school. I did community outreach with Habitat for Humanity when my um, kids were younger and got them involved um, in it with me. Now I have to say it's probably mostly um, sphere of influence and um, referral business. It's been 35 years. So um, you, you don't, uh, do you market to those people or you basically just stay in touch with them and, and get referrals? Both. Uh, I market to them. I'll do mailings still. There I certainly go. do mailings around my, um, any listings that I have. I usually do radius mailings around those. Um, I do stay in touch with my sphere of influence. I try to call past clients and especially during COVID, I would call and take somebody out to lunch every week or something like that. So, um, but mostly I'd say now I work my, um, my sphere more than anything else. So in this very um, exciting market that we're in, how do you stay <laughs> balanced in this crazy industry? It is busy these days and um, I'm not, uh, how do I stay balanced? Well, I do try and take time off. Um, but I am very available for my clients because you, you really have to be in this industry. And right now the market is moving so fast that it is difficult to take time off, especially when your clients are ready to see a property and write an offer. You have to be available. So um, I do set some limits. I, I you know try not to take calls after 10 at night or <laughs> before seven in the morning. Um, but, uh, uh, it, I am going on vacation in, in a few days for the first time in a long time, but, uh, yeah, I, I do make myself very available for clients in this very fast paced market. And I know you do have a very loyal following. Um, and what would you say sets you apart from other agents? Why do they stick with you, Amy? Is it your um, expertise? Well, I do think some of it is my expertise. I think some of it is that they they see that I'm loyal to them. Right. So I think um, when they know that once I've committed to them that I'm gonna work with them until they get a property, and in this market the last few years, it, it may not be that quick. We've had to write multiple offers before they got a house, and they knew I wasn't giving up on them, and I think that um, sort of lends itself to them being loyal to me as well. Um, but I enjoy working with them, so I don't mind doing that. I know you can tell that you really do enjoy your career, Amy. <laughs> um, and so w what would you recommend to a newer agent coming into the market today? Uh, you've really figured out how to establish this successful career, and, and we are both so blessed to live in this incredible place and have this incredible job. What, what, what would you recommend to newer agents? I tell newer agents to give it time and that this is not a part-time job, that they have to put the time in. It doesn't happen overnight, but if you put the time in and you work with your clients and you immerse yourself in real estate, that you can be successful in this, but it, it does take time. It, it, you just have to put the time into it. And that means calling people, working with people, showing up. You are a mentor in our very successful mentoring program in the Beach Cities. I know you've had about 20 to 25 brand new agents um, under your wing. Um, tell me about that program and, and comment about that. Um, I 
do run the mentoring program for any new agents that join our company from uh, the beach cities to uh, north, any who are joining any of our offices on the west side as well. And um, I really enjoy working with new agents. I have been in real estate yeah, for over 35 years, and I um, my original degree was in teaching, and I love that as well. And so I thought this was a great way to sort of mesh the two things that I really Absolutely. love, which was real estate and teaching. And it was my opportunity to give back to new agents starting out in a career that has been very successful and very good to me over the years. It's um, allowed me to raise my kids. It's allowed me to send them to school. And so it was just my way of, of giving back. And so I really enjoy it. I like that. So Amy, you've seen many uh, brand new agents come into your mentoring program and uh, you've seen them gr gr grow and graduate and move on. Certainly um, there are certain attributes that uh, help create a successful agent. What have you seen? So the mentoring agents that graduate our program and um, become successful agents are, are those with, um, who are dedicated to, to being successful and, and put in the time and use the time in the mentoring program to hone their skills and to create some kind of a marketing plan and figure out what works for them because not, not everybody succeeds in the same way. Some things were, you know, resonate with some agents more than others. So they have used the time and mentoring to figure out what that is. And so when they graduate, they really hit the ground running and they continue to put in the time to be successful in their careers. And I've seen some really successful agents take off um, from the mentoring program. There are no shortcuts, are there? There are no shortcuts. You you put in the time. It's it's it's. I say it's not rocket science, but it it you have to put in the time. That's it, what it takes. And you have to uh, be out of your comfort zone. You have to do so, things that mm -hmm. scare you. Yeah. You? Sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone, and what doesn't work, you try something else, and something will work if if you um, keep at it. We've seen a lot of different agents make money a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. So one way, um, one niche might be completely different from another agent's niche. Exactly. Different things work for different people. Some people uh, love to cold call and they right. can spend hours on the phone cold calling and others, you know, spend five minutes cold calling and they say, this is not for me. And others uh, door knock hours every day and love it and are very successful at it. Uh, others do open houses every weekend and love the face-to-face -face interaction with the people that they meet and are very successful at turning those people into clients. And also developing your sphere of influence, mm -hmm. honing, you know, fine-tuning your sphere of influence. You don't need a thousand contacts. You need 250 really good contacts and that you are your very good friends right. Right. that you can call and get together. Yes, absolutely. That's what I, I do is my sphere of influence. But yes, you reach out and get your name out there and um, just just make sure that you are available and, uh, and known to people. Don't be a secret agent, as they say. Top of mind. Top of mind. Thank you, Amy Teitelbaum, for coming into the Sky Lounge studio today. And thank you for being a part of the REMAX family. Love being here, Diane. Thank you.